It's LA's Rock Alternative 98.7. Darren Rose here in studio now, joined by uh, all the way from Columbus, Ohio, 21 Pilots. What's going on? Hello. What's up? It's Josh and Tyler. Thank yep. you guys for uh, making the stop in here. Absolutely. Welcome yeah. to LA. Thank it you. is a great place to be, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, what is your, uh, what's your history with L.A.? Uh, we recorded an album out here, so we, we were uh, out here for a couple of months at, at one time. Uh, the weather didn't change for two months straight, so I, I think that a part of me liked that. But Was then, it this album? Is it, you did yeah. Vessel yeah. here? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. we did. Yeah, we, we recorded it with a guy named Greg Wells who's out here. So uh, it was cool. How long have you guys been playing music together that, as the two of you? It's a good question. I think it's been almost two years. Almost two years now. And how did you guys connect? Uh, I was introduced to Josh uh, through a mutual friend who I was playing music with at the time. They worked together at Guitar Center. About a, a year after that, things fell into place where I gave him a call. I was like, hey, man, you want to you wanna play? They want to be in the band? Because I was playing with another guy at the time, and uh, the project wasn't really where it is now. And then mm -hmm. Josh came on, and, and, we, and we put in some solid work for about a year and a half, and then things started picking up after that. The album Vessel is out now. I'm holding it in my hands. 12 tracks. Is it tough going into the studio and saying, well, we got to put you know, 10, 12, 13, whatever fa tracks on this, yeah. but we got 30? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How, you know what's funny? I remember a couple people looked at me he's like you know what 10 songs on a cd is sexy you should do that I'm like, what are you, I remember. do you remember yeah, that I, like what are you nice talking about yeah, yeah. what about a sexy. baker's dozen yeah and i'm gonna, i'm going baker's dozen yeah. i'm going what do you i mean like i want as many songs out there as possible obviously yeah. there's like there's marketing and, and business yeah. behind songs that i don't really know much about but i'm just like let's i got i got a lot more where that comes from yeah so, so we gotta we gotta chop it off somewhere chop it off at 12 I'm already ready for the second one. Did you have songs that I guess that you really wanted on here that maybe you'll have to set aside for the next record that for whatever reason didn't make it on Vessel? Yeah, yeah, there are, there are a handful of them. And uh, not only that, but since the album has been released, I mean, I just, I can't stop writing personally. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm super pumped on just the future in general. I know we're kind of a new band and people are kind of getting to hear who we are, 21 Pilots, for the first time. And 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 I'd like to believe that this isn't just kind of this one time splash in the in the pond thing. Like mm -hmm. I, I we plan on making a career out of this and, and I have a lot of a lot of things I want to say and a lot of songs I want to show people. So And Tyler, you said you're constantly writing mm -hmm. and then how does that work from there to the conception of a song? Do you do you immediately bring it to Josh and say, What can we do with this? Or is it sometimes lyrics, sometimes a, a riff or a beat that starts out? Yeah. Really what happens when, when it comes to collaborating with Josh is I, I'll write a song, I'll kind of demo out the whole thing, and uh, I'll show him, and he'll kind of give me some input on definitely definitely the feel of the song, the drums, the, just all, all things percussion. And then, uh, I mean, what we experienced here is we went into a, an actual real studio and then kind of got all the tones where they need to be and got the mix where we need to be. Uh, what about the single? Let's talk about that. Holding on to you. We've been spinning that a little bit here at 98.7. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the origin of that track? The reason why we were so pumped on having that be our single is because it does a really good job of kind of if you could if you could kind of get a grasp for what it is you should expect from our songs. It's the closest thing to being able to do that kind of a staple right in the middle of mm -hmm. of having a lot of elements to it, whether that be classified as electronic to rap to rock to melodic to experimental or whatever the heck you guys want to call it. Uh, um, I I just I I like the song a lot. I like playing it live, and uh, the lyrics mean a lot to me too. You know, it's very introspective, very very diving into my own mind and then when when you get to see people resonate with those lyrics and those struggles or whatever it is they want to call it then there's that that amazing feeling of of knowing you're not alone and so that's kind of what the song is trying to document mm -hmm. i gotta ask you who are the i'm looking at the album here a uh, couple of nice old looking gentlemen <laughs> yeah. uh who is on who graces the cover of 21 pilots vessel those uh those two gentlemen actually are our grandfathers on I both thought that of might our, be the case both of our father's sides and um if I showed my grandpa that right now, he wouldn't even remember taking that picture. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we kind of. I'm not I, sure we should laugh at that. <laughs> no, it's hilarious. Go bro. ahead. Go he, ahead. He won't know. Throw in yeah. the laugh track. Tyler and Josh from 21 Pilots here hanging with us. Uh, the show is at the Troubadour, February 20th. The album Vessel is out now. What about the rest of the spring, summer? What's What's in store for 2013 for you guys? A lot of playing music. And if anyone can come out to a show, then I mean. 
listen, I know it, the songs sound kind of in the box, and 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 maybe they sound a little a little too poppy for you, or maybe sound a little too uh, electronic for you, or whatever it is that, it, that that you have your opinion on. But I'm telling you what, if you come out to our show, and I don't mean to be super cocky or full of myself, but y- you'll never see a show like it. So I can concur to that, and yeah. I can and I'll also say about the album is that it's I wouldn't even call it outside the box as much as I would. Good new music, different new music, yeah. exciting, uh, thought-provoking, um, intelligent. Just I don't know. I, I've very much enjoyed listening to it and getting to know it. So, and I've enjoyed getting to know you guys as thank well. Thank you so much oh, for having us. You, yeah. Thanks for giving us this chance.